Hello, and welcome to Convinced Catholicism, a place for all things Catholic. Today, I have the St. Paul Daily Missal by Pauline Press. And uh, as the title indicates, this is a book that will get you through every single Mass of the year, all three years in the A, B, and C cycle. <clears throat> Before I get into the details of this and explain the differences between other missiles, such as this versus pre-Vatican II, or this versus, say, the Midwest Theological Forum, our daily visitor missile, uh, let's get into the dimensions. So uh, the cover, first of all, overhangs just a little bit, but I'll count that as part of the measurement. Uh, it's about five inches wide and six and a half inches tall, maybe six and three quarters actually. And then about two inches thick. So this is not a small book by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not really meant for you to go every single place you go along with you like say a prayer book or a breviary is this is meant for you to go to mass and that's it <clears throat> and this is of course a daily missal monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and obviously sunday right so it's divided into different sections right so uh and by the way i like pauline press i feel that they do a good job with their stuff. I feel that their um, prints are a bit more sincere and reverent in comparison to, say, maybe other publishing companies. They used to be in charge of printing Christian prayer. I'm not really sure what happened with that, though. Um, and if anyone has a copy, I'd love to know more about it. So there's a general calendar which teaches you how to know what year, which cycle you're in. There's the proper of time, the order of the mass, the proper of saints, commons, and then there's masses for the dead, treasury of prayers, appendix, so on and so forth. Now, for as far as missiles go for the sake of praying the mass daily, even if you're not present, this is great. <clears throat> uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful missile. It has a reflection before every mass. So for example, this is being uploaded on a Tuesday. This is the Tuesday of Holy Week, which is when this would be recorded. It says, Isaiah foretells that God's servant will be made, quote, glorious in the sight of the Lord, who promises, I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth, end quote. This moment is revealed as Judas departs into the darkness. Now is the Son of Man glorified as the passion of Jesus begins. And so sometimes it will have you know, a question or a prayer before that, which I find is particularly useful if you're going to be using your daily missile at home to be praying the Holy Scriptures. Oftentimes, people are reading the Scripture and they really don't know what it's trying to say or what the interpretation is or uh, what the or what they should be getting out of it. And so <clears throat> I feel that this is a viable option for daily devotional reading. Uh, this is a uh, great meditative book for that reason. So uh, let me show you how I have my ribbons and how I have this piece of paper or two put into the book. So daily mass of the season. I have two sections for that because there's an ordinary time section and there is a seasonal section. We're seeing Easter is coming up soon. Ordinary time section. 
yearly calendar section, we can see that tomorrow, or the day that this will be uploaded, will be April 4th. And so uh, it's St. Isidore, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, which is an optional memorial. And we have a collect, but also some more red letter instruction if you were really going to pray this out. Maybe <clears throat> you go to a church that's named after St. Isidore and they're going to do a full feast for him. This would be the stuff that you would follow. And then here we have the morning and evening prayers, which are very bare bones. Uh, these are, besides the morning offering and at night, these are prayers that many Catholics would have completely memorized, honestly, um, especially if they've been Catholic for a very long time, perhaps their entire life. Now, you may notice, and this is not a unique feature of many missiles at all, but they do have here a section that is marked off with this little uh, pattern. We can also see that in the St. Gregory's prayer book, check the review out of this, where you can see the red lining here for the words of the mass, right? So uh, I personally do not mark off the mass, A, because uh, it's already marked off for me, and B, uh, you know, someone who has a missile, suspicious, like I would suspect that they already know the words of the ordinary and with your spirit, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, the Gloria, so on and so forth. So I do not mark it off specifically per se, but when I do want to pray along with the Eucharistic prayer for, uh, you know, whatever my priest is praying, typically the priest at my parish will do Eucharistic prayer three. Uh, I've been to ones where he's done two for sake of time, but that's pretty easy to follow or go to. And the other one, it would be the prefaces before all the Eucharistic prayers are really in depth. Um, so we see here that this would be for Passion of the Lord too, as is prescribed in the Missal. So <clears throat> uh, the Missal itself is almost like any other, I would say that the font is very readable. It's very, the contrast between the black and the white is very good. The bleed through is almost non-existent. Uh, so the gospels and readings are going to be very easy to read, especially if you have uh, good vision like myself, but those who have poor vision, they're going to have no problem. Now, so how does this compare to other missiles? So first of all, Let's just put this here. Let's get my Baronius Press Roman Missal 1962. This is for the Latin Mass. You will see that the ordinary of the Mass is quite different. Here we are with the Mass of the Catechumens. If we go to the ordinary of the Mass, we will see that many of the prayers just simply are omitted or there are ones that are introduced. So. I figured that that's pretty obvious that I don't need to tell anyone that, but uh, that's, that's just in case you did not know that there was a difference between the Latin Mass and the Novus Ordo, besides, of course, the language. Now, I do not own a copy of the MTF, or the Midwest Theological Forum Missal, but they also have a single-volume uh, daily missal, <clears throat> and the main, main difference I could see from research is that rather than reflections on the Gospels and just the readings in general, uh, it will have a piece of the catechism, which I find also very useful. I think it really depends on who the person is. For someone who is in love with prayer and devotion and meditation, this book is definitely the one to get. But if you are, if you want a better understanding of how the Catholic Church, I guess you could say for lack of a better term, reconciles its theological stances, its doctrine with scripture, the MTF one would be the one to get. 
if you feel like this big chunky thing is annoying, ju even just to take with you to mass, then the St. Joseph's Sunday Missal, which is in three volumes, is the one to get for you. That one is a bit more manageable considering the fact that it's three volumes. So just imagine this, but reduced by a third pretty much. Uh, but I myself am kind of a one volume kind of a guy, unless if it means that the one volume is going to abbreviate everything severely, then I would go for however many volumes the volume set is. Um, <clears throat> another question might be, why get a daily missile instead of just a Sunday missile? Well, uh, that could be for multiple reasons. The first and foremost is maybe you go to daily mass and maybe the Magnificat is too much uh, paper for you. Um, I myself am a fan of the Magnificat, but maybe that monthly subscription is in the long run too expensive for you because uh, this is a one-time purchase pretty much and that's kind of indefinite. And maybe they're just piling up in your house. You try to throw them out, but they kind of just don't go away. Those little booklets that I'm talking about. I did a review on that as well. Uh, and maybe you just go to Sunday Mass, but you want to start going to daily Mass. And this is going to be the thing that gets you to do it. Or you are simply incapable because of your uh, health or because of your occupation. This will get you through the Bible in three years, and it will be a prayerful companion to you for uh, pretty much the rest of your life, unless if they change the Mass or their translation, but I don't think that they're going to do that anytime soon. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Also, like this video and leave a comment down below. I want you to let you know, I want to let you know that I also have a uh, locals page, which will help the show monthly with your support. I also have a PayPal tip jar or a donation thing. And uh, I'm so grateful that you were able to find the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and God bless.